I'm going to wrap this up with an Irish proverb that was said to me at my wedding by someone close to me. May the road rise to meet you. May the wind always be at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face. And may the rains fall soft on your fields. Let's raise a glass to Mr. and Mrs. Cornwell. And I want you guys to take a moment to look around at your family and friends that are here tonight. Take this in. These are the people that love you, that have prayed for you both, and will continue to love and support you in your marriage and in your journey in life. Uh, it is, it's more to me than simply a family connection, more to me than just a friendship. It has been a prayer of mine for many years that Jordan would find someone who loves her unconditionally. Keep God in the center of your marriage. There's a lot of confl confliction in, in life, uh, confusion in this world now, and the Lord and, and His Word keeps you grounded. You know this, um, you picked a fantastic partner for life. She's generous, she uh, cooks amazing meals and hosts amazing gatherings because that's one of the ways that she shows love to people. Um, if you look around tonight, there are so many signs and details that have made tonight so beautiful. Um, and then that's what she's going to do with your life, right? She takes the things that she loves and she makes them beautiful. Jordan, you have been such a huge part of my entire life. And I'm so proud and honored to call you my best friend. I have always admired your commitment to your faith and your relationship to God. You are so incredibly thoughtful. You are creative, like Kat said. You're kind, and you're always there for others. One thing to intellectualize the fact that your daughter's getting married, but it's another thing entirely when your wife looks across the table with tears in her eyes and says she really believe. But then, somewhere in your heart, you realize that it's all good and it's all right, that God is in command, and that He crafted Jordan and Ben before the beginning of the time to complete each other, to have them come together as one, and to share everything that life on earth and in heaven has in store for them. Only God could have brought Jordan and Benjamin into each other's lives. Only God could have sparked and nurtured the love that grew between them. And only God could have brought them to this place to join together in His holy covenant and matrimony. Wow! That's an excellent You movie. are gorgeous! You guys look Golly, so nice! Golly, you're going to make me cry already. Oh. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Something that I admire about you is um, and don't let this go to your head, but uh, you're an immensely humble man. Let's be honest, finding Jordan has been a long time coming. It's been over a decade, you know, looking for that companionship, intentionally looking for your wife. And, um, you know, you fought the good fight, you hung in there, you were humble, you waited on God's timing. And so the ultimate irony is that Ben's humility is what Jordan should be most proud of. Here's to start an In 1 Corinthians 10, it says, do all things to the glory of God. This is not just a general encouragement to go to church and to worship the Lord. It's a statement that every single moment of your life is to matter, and that means every moment of your marriage is to matter. It's to count. And when you sing the doxology at church, the first line of it says, praise God from whom all blessings flow. He's the one 
the flow's blessings down upon your life, and that's my prayer for you. It's not like there wasn't anyone lining up. There were plenty of bachelorettes that would be willing to go with Ben if you weren't so picky. Um, <laughs> but I knew that even though Ben was taking a little bit longer, he would find just the right wife for him. And now here we find ourselves at Ben Jordan's wedding reception, and Ben is exactly 31 years young, matched with the absolute right girl for him. It is my pleasure to present to you, Mr. and Mrs. Benjamin Cornwall. Sick, jump just to feel it. 